RBI in its financial stability report last week highlighted the growing stress in the banking sector. Three numbers are of great importance. The first, the bad loans figure. As of now, the bad loans is 7.6% of loans, which is much higher than the 4.5% odd levels that we saw last year. According to the report, this bad loan figure could rise to 8 odd percent levels by March 2017. If the macro situation worsens, this figure could be well about 9% of loans by March 2017. What this means in absolute numbers is that the bad loan figure could be 6.7 lakh crore by March 2017. Now this figure is quite alarming considering that the banks have added over 2 lakh crore of bad loans over the last year. This has been evident in the way the earnings have shrunk by 70% in the 2016 fiscal. The second number that is of great importance is the fact that banks have been lending to over leveraged firms in the last couple of years. This issue has been highlighted by the RBI time and again in its FSR report. Even in this report, it has highlighted that the top 100 borrowers account for a fifth of the bad loans in the system. About fifth of the debt is to companies which have a debt equity ratio of over three times or negative net worth or over 25% of the debt is to companies who have a very low interest cover of less than one times. This highlights the concern that the economy faces right now. With the need for funding infrastructure projects, if the bank's weak balance sheet cannot lend any more to these over-leveraged concerns, then it is a matter of worry. Now, it's a known fact that banks are in the business of lending and to do so they require funds. If you look at the bank's balance sheet, a chunk of their funds is through borrowed funds which is ideally deposits and a part is the capital. Now capital is very important to a bank because it has the capacity to absorb losses in the normal course of business without actually eating into the depositor's money. This has been again a matter of concern. With the increasing bad loans in the system, bank's capital adequacy ratio has fallen substantially over the past year. Now this has been again highlighted by the RBI in its FSR report. Under a worst case scenario, the RBI fears that the capital adequacy ratio can fall substantially in the coming year as well. Given that the government time and again finds it difficult to fund public sector banks, it can be a major cause for worry in the coming fiscal.